to join the city of Compton as we broadcast live and bring our KBLA delegation with us to help clean and beautify our community, and you are invited to join us. Come meet us on Saturday, April the 20th, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at 212 West Cypress Street in Compton as we fan out to clean up our city. The first 50 KBLA listeners to hit our website at kbla1580.com will receive a free KBLA tea when you join us on Saturday morning, April 20th, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at 212 West Cypress Street in Compton. Now, no show, no shirt, but sign up at KBLA1580.com right now to help us clean up Compton as part of Earth Day 2024. We will see you on Saturday, April the 20th, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at 212 West Cypress Street in the city of Compton to do our part for Earth Day 2024. We are KBLA Talk 1580, caring about the climate, caring about the community, cleaning up Compton. KBLA Talk 1580, Astro- astrologer, life coach, yoga teacher. We should do some stretching. <laughs> uh, she's a sound bathologist, sound healer. Sahara Ali is with me. She's going to be doing some mini readings. If you want some insight into your life, uh, a specific aspect of it, call us now, 800 920 1580 800-920-1580. Um, You were talking about Beyonce, the world's most famous Virgo. And she, I mean, she seems to be unstoppable right now, just on a roll. I mean, I'm sure there are hardships because I, you know, I just know that the entertainment industry is never as easy as it looks. And I know that when it comes to Virgos, it's nothing is ever as easy as it looks because everything always has to be perfect or as close to perfect as they can possibly get it in their view. Nevertheless, I mean, I mean, that, you know, record breaking tour that she just came off of now, she's first first black woman to dominate the country chart. She's um, actually. um recorded that album before Renaissance, before the last one, that blew my mind. That means she had that in the chamber the whole time when she was touring uh, with this sort of house music extravaganza that she did. So I'm not sure where you were going with that, but certainly interesting. Well, I I just think that it's really powerful. And I was listening to another radio station and they dissected her album like it was a college dissertation. It was just really beautiful, but also the history of country music that they put on the table. And so I wanted to see, um, you know, astrologically what was going on with her because I never really looked at her chart. And so looking at her, what's happening, like we talked about um, Pluto being an Aquarius. And so... um, we she has the south node in Aquarius and so I spoke of that earlier with the eclipse about the north and south nodes the north and south nodes in astrology is what the soul needs to accomplish before it crosses over in Hindu astrology it is looked at as the dragon's head and the dragon's tail we know the dragon the dragon breathes fire we could see it we could dodge it but we can't dodge the dragon's tail it's the one that whips around to teach you your lessons and so the dynamic that's promoting her success is basically she's on purpose 
she is fulfilling her life's purpose. And then also Saturn is sitting in her um, fifth house, which is in Pisces. And it is about entertaining and bringing um, a message in the music, but also allowing yourself to be a vessel and to consciously and maybe unconsciously be a change that is needed in your own way with your talent. And that is one thing that is going to transform everything um, on this planet. We talked about getting to the future. It is the creatives. It is the art. It is that right brain thinking that allows us to step outside of the box. In fact, I'm on this whole thing about how the brain and body works so that it can heal and transform. And so um, there is a system, the RA system, and it allows you to believe in affirmations. It allows you to have faith. It allows you to um, deal with consciousness. And so we are all spiritual beings having a human experience and we all have a purpose and we all have talent and we all have something to yield to each other. That is why we have come here as souls to allow ourselves to evolve. Mm. I am. Um... We had a Rhiannon uh, Giddens um, on yesterday on the air uh, interview I did with her, and she really kind of went deep into the the roots of country music, which, like the roots of many things in this country, lead to blackness. The invention of the banjo by black people that was brought to this country, and so many things the black the tradition of the black fiddlers, so many things that I wasn't aware of. When I see the online conversation about Beyonce and the hate that she's getting, not just from white folks, a lot of black people are in there too. Uh, I, you know, I, yeah, white people are on 10 with it, but a lot of black people too, like as if she's an intruder in the space. And for the most part, people will not blatantly mention race, but it's so, the subtext is so loud that it's bubbling through the conversation. The bottom line is people really need to go explore history and to explore the imprint that has taken place with all the indigenous people and the roots of all things. I mean, I'm really keen on that. Like whenever I visit a certain place, like we were in Temecula and I was just so intrigued with Temecula because it has such a healing feeling. And I looked it up and the, Temecula was owned by the Indians and it used to have a river that flowed through it. And, and Temecula means the city of the mist. And then the um, the Dutch, I believe it was, it came over there and changed it around. And then they sold it to um, Spain and then Spain came and did something. And then finally they've given a portion back to the indigenous people. But I just, you could just feel it wherever you go. So the thing is, before you judge something, before you have an opinion of it, do the history, find out what the roots are. And, and it's so important because if you are going to believe in something, that means you have to live that. And if you are going to live that, be intelligent enough to pull up the receipts to confirm that belief system. That's how I look at it. All righty, let's go to Dee calling us from Long Beach. Good morning, Dee. You're on with Sahara Ali. Good morning, uh, Dominique. Good morning, Sahara. Good morning. Uh, I will need your date of birth. To accelerate this, I just need your birthday and your name. So the day of your birth. The day? Day and month. Sunday? Not oh, Sunday, day. just day day and well, month. Like the day. 11 5. You know, my name is D. My birthday's 11 5, 19, whatever. You don't even have to say that. But my name is D. My birthday, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 2 14 65. Okay. Valentine's Day. Do you have a question? When is the best time to start a business? That is. Um, definitely not now with Mercury retrograde for sure, because if you start a business in Mercury retrograde, you're going to have to rethink, reevaluate, renegotiate, unless you started it long time ago and you're just finding, you know, dealing with the, um, details, but the start of most anything is really good on a, on a new moon, not a full moon, um, is good, but also sometimes you have to look at where your cycles are. And so for you, because you're an Aquarius, you, um, Pluto is supporting you. So there's a lot of expansion for you this year. Plus you're on a six cycle. So it is about focus and work and you will yield, 
um, investment from whatever it is you're creating. But I feel like for you is to not look at how much you're going to make on the back end, but look at how you want to sustain it. Mm, okay. Well, um, good luck to you, Dee. We've lost Dee. I guess um, maybe he will call us back at 800-920-1580, 800-920-1580. How do we know when it's a new moon, though? I mean, we're trying to start a business. The news will tell you now. I just love it. We got a new moon. And we have a full <laughs> moon. We got a square moon. It's like, um, but you can look in this. It's the almanac. And in, in fact, the almanac was like the first real recognizable print source that honored astrology and the cycle of the moons. And you can still go buy an almanac and it'll tell you the moon is in Pisces, go fishing, you know, the moon is in cancer, go plant some seeds. And so, you know, you think that you, this whole concept of astrology is, is more than just woo woo, but an almanac will always tell you, you know, and an now we almanac. have the telephone, we can Google when's the next new moon and it'll tell you everything. And I would say if you Google anything, look for the spiritual aspect of it, not just looking because you can run into a bunch of craziness. Mm, we've got Asha on the phone. Uh, I don't know how much you, <laughs> um, what's this, April 9th, Paul Robeson's birthday. Uh, and my brother, Raz Baraka, who's mayor of Newark, New Jersey, and uh, our own Asha. Good morning, Asha. Happy Good birthday! <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning, Asha. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm wonderful. I just need you to say your first and last name. Asha Jordan. I want to say how young you are, but I'm scared. <laughs> Because I'm feeling oh wonderful. <laughs> okay, because I because yeah. I was feeling and happy birthday to you. This is a really dynamic time for you. You're on a three cycle, so this is about mind, body, spirit, and I'm looking at you're at a fork in the road and about making certain decisions. I'm seeing maybe a shift in your environment, shift in relationships, and I would say embrace it all because this is a good time for you to step into your power and to reframe those things that help you stand in your wholeness, not the things that fragment you does that make sense yes it does okay so you know to thy own self be true that's the mantra i give you and allow your reticulating accessing system which allows you to believe in affirmations to receive that and and hold your power to thy own self be true under grace and ease that's your mantra girl thank you so much i truly appreciate it to thine own self be true birthday girl <laughs> under grace and ease that's oh, right man, always Ashe. grace and ease we and love so us some is. asha around here boy that's our Thank asha you. yeah Thank that's you our so asha you better call me you, that's our family I, asha yeah. how'd you gonna do this asha girl you you family Call yes, me. Thank you. Call I me, will. as Jamie Foxx would say, call me, girl. <laughs> okay. Okay. All righty. Um, we're going to go to Mark uh, calling us from somewhere. Mark's birthday is Xmas 1225. Doesn't give us the year, although we would like to know it, Mark, if you feel like sharing. 76. Okay, Mark. Christmas Day 1976. The present name Mark came into okay, the Okay, so world. Mark, just say your first and last name for me, please. Uh, Johnson, Mark Johnson. Okay, Mr. Johnson, um, you are on an eight cycle in numerology, but it comes from a four, four, four. So this is about restructuring your foundation and stepping from one plane to another and to stop procrastinating about all the things you wish you should have done and to go ahead and do them. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to. I don't. I'm. I'm gonna be real kind. But this is the year where you can get some things off the ground, do the networking, but also have paperwork behind it. People they want to help you, but you just talking, put some action. As my grandmother say, don't let your mouth cash a check that your write a check. Write that a check. Butt can't cash. Right. So yeah. <laughs> let your butt cash a check. <laughs> okay, right. sound like my grandmother. My grandmother's always around when I say some stupid stuff like that to my grandmother because I don't talk like that. <laughs> so remember, you know, get behind what it is you believe in. Put some life for life force effort behind it and it will yield the abundance that you're seeking. You have a lot of ideas. You just talk about them too much. Make them real. Okay. Okay. 
God okay. bless you. Thank you. Thug you call me too, you. but you better have some Benjamins. Mark, <laughs> sounds like it could have been my yeah. reading. Stop talking about it and just do it, Dominique. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Mark, I hope you call me back when some of this manifests and, and let us and know. And it's going to be bigger than you think. And you do have a support system. I'm seeing a feminine, someone who's like a sister, and then a smart man that, that has been where you're trying to go. Connect with that. Okay. Thank okay. you. Got right. you. Yes, yes, yes. Sahara Ali is here. We're doing some readings, some snapshots of your life. If you have a specific question or area that you like to uh, tee up, we'll get to that. As we continue on KBLA Talk 1580. Say the quiet part out loud. KBLA Talk 1580. Psst. Hey, I have a secret. Uh huh. I use secret whole body deodorant because more than just my armpits stink. Uh -huh. Can I use it with my bra rubs under my. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about down there? You know, my. Totally. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend it. So I tried it, and now I get 72 hours of freshness, freshness. from my pits to my. Ooh, I love that it's a spray. Me too. And it comes in sticks and creams too. Go get your secret whole body deodorant. KBLA Talk 1580 is the fastest growing talk radio station in Southern California. Home to 50,000 watts and an audience reach of 12 million listeners. KBLA Talk 1580 is a pioneer for black audio content, including our groundbreaking $2 million climate justice campaign and the most loyal, influential audience. According to an independent research study by the polling firm of Iteris, for the second consecutive year, KBLA Talk 1580 is the most trustworthy, reliable, and credible news source for black audiences and beyond in Southern California. Let KBLA Talk 1580 power your advertising dollars. Our omni-channel custom marketing solutions are specifically tailored to connect with your ideal target audience. We leverage audio, podcasts, streaming, digital, social media, and local activations to get your message out to the black community. Get in touch with our advertising team today at advertising at KBLA1580.com. That's advertising at KBLA1580.com. KBLA1580, we've got your black. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick! Sorry, kids! <laughs> yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. Thanks for waking up with Dominique DePrima on KBLA Talk 1580. And the uh, phone lines are all the way lit, but you're welcome to call. Sahara Ali is with us. SaharaAli.com is doing mini reading snapshots of our lives. Uh, Lisa is calling us. Um, May 16th, 1963. Lisa, do you have a question about a certain area or a particular thing? How about travel, love, and a new career? Okay, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, so Lisa, um, and you're you're ending you're ending. Um, uh, let me see. I I just did the math on that. You're ending a one cycle and going into a two cycle. So the last your birthday, you'll enter a two cycle. So the one cycle is about finding yourself and it looks like you have accomplished that and so your next cycle coming up on your birthday will be a two cycle and a two cycle is partnership it is financial um abundance it is traveling it is success it is happiness and and in yielding this dynamic of attracting you a uh, partnership to you it's important for you to kind of reframe the judgment you place on yourself and who you are willing to become in a relationship. It looks like some of your past relationships, there was a lot of compromise. And in this, the new relationships going forward, because there is a possibility, it looks like there's two gentlemen that's already in your auric space. One of them, you know, already, he's just waiting for you to feel okay for him to make that move because he respects you. But it's about you not giving your power away and giving yourself permission to know that you deserve the love that you're seeking. Make any sense to you? 
Yes, it does. Oh, my God. Thank you. Okay, so happy birthday coming to you. Remember, it's a two-year. So all the money you make, make sure you stash some money away for your four-year. But there is there is a huge change coming for your life. And just love yourself, honor yourself, celebrate yourself, and take your power back. Seen and unseen, girl. Have fun. Thank you, Queen. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Lisa. God bless. She's going to go get that brother in the wings. He cute, too. Okay. He wears a suit. Cute in a suit and in the wings. We could all use one of those. Well, not all. Some are married. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to April. April's born 814. Uh, hi, April. Any particular area or um, space you want to focus on? Uh, good morning. I'm so scared. August 14, 1961. What you this. scared of? You big bat wolf yourself. I don't know what you're talking about. You lying up here on the phone. <laughs> say your first and last name, please. You know, I'm Frank Cray. They call me the urban psychic, so I might say anything to you. So say your first and last name, honey. <laughs> I am April Sims. Okay, Miss April. Um, you... Inner, okay, I have to, because they're talking to me really fast about you. You have some really dynamic angels around you and a grandmother that is fierce. Um... You are a writer. You have wonderful thoughts. Even if you just write words and put them in a book, you could sell it. The thing is, you are struggling with acceptance. And the key is to accept yourself and then everybody will love you. And so going forward for you, this is a year where you really, um, well, until your birthday, because then it's going to change it's really important for you to reframe your value system and to raise the bar in regards to any belief system of deprivation. Your money is God's money. Your home is God's home. Your life is God's life. And how are you willing to allow yourself to accept that as your reality? But this is a good time for you. But right now, all these things I'm talking about and after your birthday there will be the shift that you want it to be and there will be more support and more community in regards to what you need. Does any of this make sense to you? I am absolutely floored, speechless. I love it. Thank you. I'm not scared. I'm calling you I'm calling you for more. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, a lot of folks, and that's good news. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, Jamal. Jamal usually calls um, when you're on. Jamal's birthday is 822.51. And good morning, Jamal. Is there a specific um, spot you want to check out? I just wanted to let me have it the way she does. Okay? <laughs> because I God, know they're saying let you have it. Do I That's sound like that? Line. I don't. I don't mean Jamal to sound like Hawking. I'm letting somebody have it. I don't mean it's all with love. It's just that you it's know we love. are. Yes. We are in such a powerful time, and I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna read you, but we are in such a powerful time of self ownership. Black lives matter. That is the mantra. Our reticular activating system finally has something that it can hold on to that we can unconsciously step forward into. Our reticular activating system is that part of our brain that allows us to accept affirmations, that allows us to accept consciousness and prayers and truth and to make them real so that we can manifest and so if we understand this and use that mantra, it's beyond Black Lives Matter, which is so wonderful, which George Floyd had to be sacrificed to give us that. So there is no shame and the reparations is more spiritual than material. So own your power. And so, Mr. Man, you are on an eight cycle. Your journey is to take spirit over matter. Eight is the number of infinity. The bottom part is matter, which is substance and earth and the accoutrements that we get caught up in to define our lives. And the top part is spirit, trusting the wholeness that already exists in you and reframing your life to see the truth and the wisdom and the power that you possess. And you turn it on its side. It's infinity that your life is limitless. Eight is about limitless. And so how are you willing to 
put down your emotional fragmentation to give yourself permission to step into your wholeness and make your magic. It looks as though you have like three individuals that you are responsible for and God will help you um, yield the services that are needed to take everybody to the next level. Just trust who you are. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yes, it does make a whole lot of sense. Yes, it does. Thank you. I appreciate you, Queen. Thank you. Appreciate you too, Jamal. Jamal's Jamal's been riding since the front page. Am riding. I too heavy? I need to lighten up. No, Let me no, sip some it's of like, my tea. Like, hey. <laughs> Look, we only have a minute and a half till news, traffic, and sports, but we'll start on JW because he's been waiting. May have to go on the other side. Two five fifty six. The fifth day of February, 1956. J.W., is there a certain question that you have? Yes, I'm the fourth day of February. Oh, fourth day of February. Jim, yeah, my oh. first name, Jim. Okay, I never knew that. All right, do you have a certain question? Is there an area you want Sahara to focus on? Yeah, I, yes, I feel so driven, but I have some fear because I'm going through some, some struggles, but I want to succeed. I feel driven because I have a purpose, and what fear is about is down something, how this world can be. And my purpose is to try to unite humanity and just to get people to see that this hidden agenda that's coming from the Republican Party, we have to fight back against it by mobilizing our people and having allies, different nationalities, races, and people coming Okay, together. your 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 question, um, what's your question in, in all of this, J.W.? My question is that I feel like I am encouraged by God and to be serving my purpose, and I know I'm going to some dark, you know, issues. Okay, and I just need to okay we're okay. up against news, traffic, and okay, sports, so, so we'll, we'll so have to sir, address it on the other side. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. All right. The, the question took uh, a minute and a half, so we'll, we'll hit the answer after news, traffic, and sports. JW, stay with us. KBLA Talk 1580. She's reclaiming her time on KBLA Talk 1580. More First Things First with Dominique DePrima when we come forward. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Moore. Now here's the latest from the Black Information Network. Crews in Maryland are working around the clock to clear debris from the Baltimore Bridge collapse. The U.S. Coast Guard says their priority is finding the bodies of the three remaining construction workers who have been missing since a container ship hit the bridge and brought it down two weeks ago and that they have a general idea of where the victims are. The city of Cleveland, Ohio, has designated the former home of Jesse Owens as an historic landmark. Owens, an African-American, lived at the home at the time he won four gold medals at the 1936 Olympics in Germany. The Cleveland Restoration Society now plans to work with the home's current owner on external renovation plans to bring back some of the history from the Owens era. And that's the latest. I'm Mike Moore from your 24-7 news source, the Black Information Network and BINnews.com. Can your roof handle extreme weather? If you have leaks or a 20-year-old roof, go to localroofs.com to schedule a free roof checkup. Localroofs.com proudly offers five-star service with flexible financing, including 0% interest for 18 months on approved credit. Go to localroofs.com. This is the KBLA Sports Minute with Ray Richardson. Ray Richardson. There are several concerns for the Lakers after they lost by 14 at home last night to Golden State. The Lakers were reminded how weak their defense can be without Anthony Davis. Davis missed the game with an eye injury. Golden State made 26 three-pointers, the most allowed by a Lakers team in franchise history. Last night Nice loss also confirmed that the only way the Lakers can make the playoffs is through the play-in round. The Lakers are ninth in the Western Conference with two games left at Memphis Friday, at New Orleans on Sunday. LeBron fought off flu symptoms to finish with 33 points and 11 assists. The Clippers won at Phoenix last night without Kawhi Leonard and James Harden. Leonard has a sore knee, Harden a sore foot. Russell Westbrook had a triple-double with 17 points, 15 assists, and 15 rebounds. The win clinched the Pacific Division title for the Clippers. No debate no speculation, just the info you need. That's your KBLA Sports Minute. I'm Ray Richardson. More news, opinions, and conversation when we come forward on KBLA Talk. J.P. Morgan Chase is building on the investments in California to help close the racial wealth gap and build a more equitable future. Visit jpmorganchase.com slash racial equity and get the tools to help reach your financial goals. 
There are many healthcare organizations serving our community. Not all are dedicated to community partnerships that educate, build trust, inspire hope, and improve outcomes. Providence has a robust community outreach program and has dedicated $50 million over the next five years to support organizations addressing health disparities in local communities of color. Examples of this commitment include the Biddy Mason Community Wellness Center on the first AME campus, providing medical screenings, mental health therapy, nutrition, and culturally sensitive holistic classes. The Black Mama's Glowing Peer Support Group that focuses on maternal mental health, birth planning, and social support. Providence is committed to building trusted partnerships with community organizations to better understand and dismantle structural, racial, and cultural barriers to better health. During Minority Health Month, Providence is sponsoring Health for a Better World. Informative conversations with Providence health professionals on Urban Family Focus every Saturday in April at 7 a.m. To find a Providence Health System facility near you, log on to Providence.org. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. The possibility of lung cancer can be pretty scary, especially if you're one of approximately 8 million current or former smokers at high risk. That's why SaveByTheScan.org wants you to know that now there's a breakthrough low-dose CT scan that can detect lung cancer early, and it only takes 60 seconds. You stop smoking, now start screening. For an easy quiz to see if you're eligible, visit SaveByTheScan.org. It could save your life. Saved by the Scan.org is brought to you by the American Lung Association's Lung Force Initiative and the Ad Council. This is KBLA Talk 1580, where hate meets a scholarly match. Hey, hey, hey. Gotta love it in studio with Sahara Ali. We're going to get to as many of your uh, calls as we can. We've got some folks in the chat room on YouTube at KBLA 1580 as well. Uh, Kwamel Allah says, only here to say I'm happy to have an... Uh, name to face image of Sahara Ali. And I should have said uh, Eid Mubarak. It's Eid, yeah, Eid right? Mubarak, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Yes. Celebration. It's the... You could eat. <laughs> yeah, right. I see you got a drink and a eat. And... Yes, indeed. Um, all right, JW, you, you articulated um, some fear and uh, drive at the same time. And uh, birthday 2456, what do we have to say to uh, JW? Okay, J- JW, um, the dynamic is there's a healing going on in your life. There's a healing going on in your body. And it would benefit you to give yourself permission to release whatever resentment that you're carrying in regards to things that have not unfolded yet. Yes, you are on purpose. Yes, you are connected. Yes, you do have a special place in the whole dynamic of life. Part of the expression and to give you the fulfillment that you're seeking, let go of some of the resentment, have a little more demonstration of gratitude and to be willing to allow others to come and support you in what you need. You're a dynamic person, your heart is good, and it's just a matter of allowing yourself to forgive and move forward so that you can receive your blessings. Receive that. Thank you very much. All right. God bless, JW. We're going to go right to Regina because Regina's been holding on. Regina's birthday is 829. Another Virgo. Uh, yeah. This ain't Texas. Hey, Regina, did you want to talk about something in particular? Yes. Um, am I going to win any money <laughs> uh, or or am I going to receive money from a surprise person? Oh, wow. She got real it. specific. She's like, it. okay, go down the rabbit hole and go look at my mornings. Okay. Say your first and last name for me, please, again. 
Regina Tucker. Okay, Miss Regina. Um, yes, there is um, abundance around you. However, you're looking at the wrong place for it to come. So for your abundance to flow is for you to appreciate being worthy of having this abundance come to you. And the other thing is don't spend it before you get it. So backtrack, get it and have some gratitude about it. It looks as though there are some financial things that are tied up and there are some past financial um, gifts that are due to you. However, God, I don't want to use that word. There's no entitlement in abundance. There's only acceptance. We're entitled to our abundance by allowing ourselves to trust and know that we deserve it and we can receive it under grace and ease. Because abundance or money or all of that, it's our energy. And so, you know, there's a duality in the expression of who you are. And so lean into the soft side and the financial dynamic in your life will change drastically. And yes, you will. You do have some income or some gifts coming. They are moving slow because the universe would like for you to give yourself permission to be in gratitude. Oh, okay. <laughs> gratitude is the best attitude. My money's God's money. Hmm. Bye, Regina. Thank you for calling. Uh, who else has been waiting for a second? Darvell is calling us. <clears throat> Darvell, uh, January 26th is a birthday. Um, hi, Darvell. Do you have no. a specific question? Oh, the birthday's wrong? Okay, sorry. January 20, 28th. I'm sorry. Okay, January 28th. Do you have a specific area you want to look at, Darvell? Uh, I guess finances and career. Okay, you um, you just finished a nine cycle. And so it's like the last year of your life was about closure and reframing. And so this is a year of new beginnings and reframing who you're willing to be. It's a thing, you know, you're in this cycle where you might want to cut your hair or change your clothes or, or change the people you hang around. And so um, your health is good. There needs to be a renegotiation as to how you respect your money so that your money will flow in a different way. And also, it looks like there's some closure that needs to be made in some loose ends in regards to um, past relationships so that you can be clear to go forward with a clear conscious mind and spirit to where you are taking yourself. Darvel? Okay, that, that sounds, uh, yeah, that sounds pretty accurate there thank you appreciate it okay well i uh, uh, enjoy the new you and call us back and let me know how that how that uh reframing is going they can for see you. my face <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're on the youtubes <laughs> Hi, we everybody. are on the youtubes okay so uh b bell of bad dog bullies is in the chat birthday one twenty seventy two wants to know what's my purpose i need an on-purpose job um so i guess she, she won't be able to say her name because she's okay so um purpose we always know it it's just a matter of sitting still enough to allow ourselves to um, I hear it and respect it you are in a fork in the road in regards to a lot of things in your life it looks as though um, you're sitting too long and where I, I have to give it to you the way I'm hearing it in my head. You're sitting too long and where you're standing and you've been standing there longer than spirit has wanted you to be. So for you to get on purpose is for you to give yourself permission to claim the power you possess to be in charge of the change you want to see in your life. Things are good. You're on a two cycle. It's about new relationships. It, your two comes from an 11 so it means one path and then another so it's like usually a one path six months your life is this way the next six months is that way so you're in the clearing setting the foundation restructuring part of your two cycle and after you know six months but I'm hearing actually actually after three months you will be able to see going forward so on another way to put it plant the seeds so that you can have a good harvest all right, hopefully um, that makes sense. B. Bell is not uh, saying following up here in the chat, so I can't see a response. Maybe she will. Um, but right now uh, we're going to go to Sherry. Um, Sherry's birthday is 92980. 
928. Oh, 92880. 92880. Do you do you have a specific area you want to focus on? Uh yes, uh career and like moving into like a better, you know, home or you know. Well, um in numerology you you are actually your birthday is 98 928. 928. Yeah, 928. So, um you are on a four cycle and so the change in your home that is crazy. Say your first and last name for me, please. I'm sorry. I'm talking to spirit. They're showing me some girl. Um, say your first and last name for me, please. Oh, sure. Sherry Bell. Okay, Miss Bell. First of all, to allow yourself to attract to you a new home, it's important that you celebrate the home that you're in. And it looks like one of the demonstrations would be is to clean the closet, clean the garage, clean the cabinets, get rid of things that are no longer serving you so you can open the space. Second thing is to honor um, your health and, and the gratitude of your good health because it looks like you went through some kind of um, healing dynamic, which is over for you. And also to communicate um, to to communicate to the individuals around you that you need support and to stop trying to carry the whole bucket. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, it does actually. Yeah. And so just know there's a healing going on for you right now in your body and your mind. Prayer is the gift that will help you transcend this. And also I, I'm going to, I frame it in a different way, but one thing that will be good for you is to write, to write out your feelings, to write certain people letters that, the things that you feel you can't say you can say it on paper to empty your subconscious mind so that you can open up the space so that your throat chakra will open so that you will be able and feel safe to say what you want to say because you swallow your words too much and you know truth and you know wisdom and you have discernment you will see it but you won't speak it it's time for you to speak what you see does that make sense yes it does yeah you, you. are those like those dear mf letters yeah, that you tell me to write MFs where like, uh, you write yeah. whatever you need to say and then you could like put it in the ocean or burn it or for you her know. she need to set it on fire write them dear mf letters and say what you can't say or what you feel like you are afraid to say and get that anger that rage that frustration that helplessness out of you on paper the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference all the reticular activating system wants to know, are you willing to be happy? So your mantra is, it is safe for you to be heard. It is safe for you to have abundance. It is safe for you to be heard. It is safe for you to have abundance, connecting to the wholeness that already exists in you because you fragmented yourself. So it's safe for you to be heard. It's safe for you to have abundance. It's safe for you to connect to the wholeness that already exists in you. Thank you so much. You are such a powerful light. Pick up your power, honey. It's time. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Pick up your power, girl. It's not too late. Uh, Sahara Ali is gifting us this morning on this Eid vibration with some readings for you, some insight. She's an astrologer. She's a numerologist. She's a yoga teacher, a sound bathologist. And um, you have a special thing going on for people who want to do a more in-depth reading um, they can make an appointment. I know they have to call Elise, uh, your um, your assistant, and you've got when they call, they should they should uh, let her know that it's KBLA, and they'll get a special some yes. special kind of thing. It's two one three six two eight nine seven eight three two one three six two eight nine seven eight three. That's Elise's number. Yeah, that's the voicemail number that Elise picks up and sets all the appointments from there. Because okay. when people call live and they get a live person, they talk too much. They start crying. Ain't nobody got time for that. So you call the two one three six two eight nine seven eight three and you leave a message and we'll get back to you. And just mention that you're from KBLA and we have a gift for you guys. Uh, you're listening to KBLA Talk 1580. More of First Things First with Dominique DePrima when we come forward. We asked seniors how to prevent Medicare scams. My best advice, if you get a phone call, do not talk to the person. These people are well-trained. Don't talk to them. They don't know me. They're just trying to scam me. Don't be fooled. Hang up. Just hang up. Never give out your Medicare number. They're going to get your number to put in a false claim. If I get a call from someone, I don't pick up the phone. And should I pick up the phone and they ask for information, then I hang up. 
How do you detect Medicare fraud? Just like I check my credit card statements, I check my Medicare statements monthly. Scammers can get a hold of your number, order medical devices through your account, and you're not even going to know about it if you don't look at your statement. Check your statement every month. If you get your statement and you see something that you know you did not have done, you report it. Call your senior Medicare patrol. To report Medicare fraud, call the senior Medicare patrol at 855-613-7080. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawon'twait.com. Some days I cover up because of my moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Now I'm hitting the road with clearer skin thanks to Sky Rizzi, Rizm Kism of Rizza, a prescription-only 150 milligram injection for adults who are candidates for systemic or phototherapy. Nothing is everything. With Sky Rizzi, three out of four people achieved 90% clearer skin at four months. And Sky Rizzi is just four doses a year after two starter doses. Don't use if allergic to Sky Rizzi. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Before treatment, your doctor should check for infection and tuberculosis. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms such as fever, sweats, chills, muscle aches, or cough, or if you plan to or recently received a vaccine. Thanks to Sky Rizzi, there's nothing on my skin, and that means everything. your doctor today about Sky Rizzi, the number one dermatologist prescribed biologic in psoriasis. And visit SkyRizzi.com or call 1-866-SKY-RIZZI to learn more. The conversation continues right now, right now, right now with now. Dominique DePrima on First Things First. First. Oh my goodness. So if you were planning on going to Sahara Ali's next sound bath, too late. It's already sold out. But um, but you can track her on SaharaAli.com and find out when the next one is coming. They are so awesome. I, I'm, I'm, I love it because, you know, I'm a new agey individual. I've always used astrology. My mom did as well. I was raised with that. It's not a religion. It's a tool that helps us. It's an art. I love, you know, crystals and, you know, but I was skeptical about the sound bath because I'm like, how a gong going to make me feel better? And one day I had a messed up hip and I had been struggling with for months and Sahara just happened to have her, her bowls and she's like, let me work on you for a second. I was so shocked because I felt better. I'm like, that doesn't even make sense. But it does, if you think about it. Everything is vibration. Not only that, you know, torturers and police use loud sounds to force people into confessions and, and, and make their lives, you know, miserable. And a great song comes on the radio. Suddenly you can lift a heavier weight. You can run when you thought you were too tired to go on. So it does make sense. And I, I just I tell that story to say I was a skeptic. But uh, now I go and get uh, sound healing from Sahara every every chance I get. The sound bath is sold out. There'll be another one coming soon. But you do have yoga classes, right? Yes, I have a yoga a therapeutic yoga class on Friday nights at Yoga House 6 to 7.15. It's on State and Fair Oaks. Um, you can also view it online. And you can also come in and, and have a good time. We know you got to be on time, though. Yes. So hard don't oh, mess yeah, around. you got to be on time for her classes. Mm -hmm. And so the thing with sound healing, our bodies are like a piano. They get out of tune. I use indigenous instruments, and I know you've seen those singing bowls. The Buddhists have them a lot. The bowls have a note and a vibration and a frequency. Like everybody has a different note. Like so Dominique might be an F. I might be a B. Somebody might be a C. But just like a piano, it gets out of tune. So when you put a bowl on the body, the vibration of the bowl travels through your cell tissue your muscles your bones it vibrates the bones it stimulates the water and the water that moves through your body helps raise this vibration and your brain the bones in your brain vibrate which 
balances the left right side of your brain but it takes you into what we call a yoga nidra sleep and as you are in this sleep but unsleep state your body is recalibrated and tuned up and you have this deep relaxation that allows your nervous system to heal and it, you can definitely feel that when it happens um yeah a big thing's going on around here today by the way tavis smiley will be unveiling um Dr. Cornell West's running mate, his vice presidential um, running mate, will be the first place in the nation to make that announcement uh, next uh, on the Tavis Smiley Show. Right now we're going to Leon. Leon's birthday is 9-2-1950. 9-2-1950. Hi, Leon. Hi, good morning. How are you doing, ladies? Good, good. Thanks for your patience. What, you? what did you want to look at? Uh, real quick, uh, my education, I'm 74 years old. I want to know if I'm going to complete my master's degree. And will I make my spiritual connection to either Cartagena or Nairobi, Kenya? Nairobi has a good vibration um, in your voice. I, I think Nairobi would be a very powerful place for you. And congratulations on um you know, celebrating your wisdom and getting credentials to <laughs> match that because all education do is draw out what's already there. The root word is educar, to draw out. And so you do, I just want to put this on your head, you do and will continue to have good health, but you do need to go maybe see a chiropractor, or get some deep tissue massage to align your spine, um, to help you with your spine and your gait. Um but yes, um, I I think I answered your question. Do you have another question? <laughs> uh, uh, you mentioned Kenya. You said okay for Kenya, and uh, as I said, my education was a uh, spent a life's journey uh, trying to complete this uh, higher education. Uh, it's beautiful. I'm struggling with calculus right now. <laughs> Ooh, Lord! Just that you know, your mind is God's mind. All it is, anything that we are trying to learn, everything about who we are and our spirit is already within us. Deja vu is a confirmation of that. People you meet like, oh, I know you from somewhere. You know, the whole thing is to give yourself permission to lean into the wisdom that already exists in you and allow that circumstance to draw it out. All it is trying to do is to teach you to focus, to teach you to trust spirit, to teach you to trust the divine intelligence that already exists within. So you cannot and should not be intimidated by what you don't know because you need to have the experience no matter what level it exposes itself to, draw out the gift of the wisdom that you already have. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. I'll see you in Kenya. <laughs> I'm going there in June. Woohoo! Can't wait. Uh, or I'll let you know how it is. Going to Lacey. Lacey's birthday is 11 11. Powerful. Did you want to look what at a certain year? area? Oh, yeah. What year and what area do you want to focus on? Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm born in 2003. Um, and I mean, I guess I can look at the next few years <laughs> as far as area. I don't really have a preference. Okay. So just stop, <laughs> take a deep breath and relax. Okay. You are mm -hmm. very talented. It, it would benefit you to not define yourself by what you think other people think of you It's time for okay. you to pick up your power and give yourself permission to trust the beauty and the intelligence that you are and to give yourself permission to be okay about being different about perceiving things differently that is your gift that makes you authentic we are all unique we are all unique we are all divine but some of us don't live our divinity your life purpose is to live your divinity. So get out of thinking and caring about what other people think because the mantra is what other people think about you is none of your business is what you think about yourself. And get busy with leaning into the wisdom and the creativity that you have. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. Life's <laughs> purpose is to lean into her divinity and uh, see things through her own lens. Amazing. Um, you know, it's great to have you live in studio. I want to remind folks uh, that you can go to SaharaAli.com, find out where the sound bath is, go get some yoga instruction. Uh, Leon, maybe you want to go work, you know, work on that's fine. Also, Sahara um, 
tell us again how to contact Elise if we want to make an appointment. How to contact the machine so Elise can call <laughs> us back and make an appointment. And it's easier on the machine because several people can leave a message at the same time. At least can't handle a thousand people at the same time. So the machine is, is technology is good for us. 213-628-9783. Leave a message for Elise and let her know that you heard us on KBLA and um, you're interested in the gift that we have to offer. Say the number one more time slow. 213-628-9783. And you can also go to my website, saharaali.com. That's S-A-H-A-R-A-H, Ali, A-L-I.com. I I probably need to go look at it myself. I haven't looked at it in a minute, but everything is there. My services, um, my background, my beliefs, all of that stuff. Yeah, you could schedule a sound bath, a reading. You can get a yoga class you even do private one-on-ones uh, for people mm-hmm. yoga class and yeah. sound healing and as well. i do and i do um a prayer service i i pray with you over the phone and stuff like that and and i subscribe affirmations to match wherever it is you're trying to move forward in your life you know it's it's a it's an awakening it is beyond, I keep saying, the whole physical thing of reparations, but it's about spiritual reparations. It's about us being willing to know the divinity within ourselves and our power and our gifts and to celebrate those gifts and to honor the gifts of each other and to share what we have like we used to. Mm. And it's and, But this time, it there is material gain for it it's not just for the community but remember as you think so shall it be so think about what you want not what you don't want and be willing as my grandmother would say if you're gonna write a check with your mouth let your butt pay for it for real all right sahara ali thank you for coming in i usually end with a quote but she said like three or four of them (laughs) so i don't think i have to i always quote focus on what you want not what you don't want eid mubarak Tavis Smiley's up next. He's got an amazing show for you today and a big revelation on deck. I'm Dominique DePrima. History is now, and we are making it together until tomorrow. One love. KBLA 1580 Santa Monica. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Moore. Now here's the latest from the Black Information Network. Who's in 